If you struggle with your putting, here is three tips that's going to help you improve your probability of strike and also start the ball on your intended target line that's going to help you achieve a little bit more success. Stage one is making sure that club face is nice and square. First thing we need to start with is making sure that the grip's nice and in the, the lifeline of your left hand and also the right hand. A good way to indicate this is basically just grip the club, making sure the grip end of the club goes all the way up your left forearm. You should start to feel that the grip's a little bit more in the palm of your hand, also the lifeline. Left thumb is a little bit more down the left hand side of the grip. As you place your right hand on, your right hand just sits on the right hand side of the grip. The club face is nice and square. Two one is a lot of golfers will align their forearms too much to the left of target because their right hand's a little bit too weak on the putter. Shoulders aim left, the path gets too much across the golf ball. Other end of the spectrum where our forearms and shoulders are a little bit aimed too far to the right, that's going to encourage too much of an in to out path. So the first thing we need to make sure that the grip is in that good and adequate position. Then what we're going to do from there is stage two, we're going to connect our elbows into the front of the rib cage. So stage two is connecting your elbows into the upper part of your rib cage. That's going to allow your shoulders and forearms to align themselves towards your intended target. Elbows connected to the upper part of your rib cage. Keep your elbows nice and soft. You're going to keep your arms nice and relaxed as well. You're going to set up in your golf posture and forward from your hips. You're going to feel like your chest is close to the ground. Shimmy into your golf posture. You'd feel like your hands are a little bit higher at dress because the grip's a little bit more in the palm of your hand. That's going to allow you to stabilise the club face. So stage one, making sure the grip's in a good position. Ball position, just left of centre. Ball position directly underneath your left eye. Ball position directly underneath left eye. We take a longer backswing and a shorter fall through, visualising that the putt head is cruising into impact. Many people struggle with speed and also consistency of strike. The backswing gets too short, and if the backswing gets too short, we have to add the speed in later on after impact. Short backswing and then a late acceleration into the golf ball. We struggle with speed and also strike. So you want to do the opposite. You want to visualize you're taking a longer backswing and a shorter follow through. So the club head is cruising into impact. You start to hear the ball click off the putter face a little bit more efficiently. You want to control the speed a little bit more effectively and also get the ball to start on your intended target line that you're trying to achieve. So we're going to take a longer backswing, shorter fall through like Justin Thomas and also Jordan Spieth where the putt head starts to slow down coming into impact. I feel like the grip end of the club starts to slow down as you come into impact and a great way to achieve that is a lighter grip pressure, backswing, shorter fall through but the tempo of the stroke and the speed is the same on the backswing and also the forward swing. Set up to any putt, think of the grip end of the club. The grip end of the club is not towards your right hip, where we see a lot of people add lots of loft and also the club face closes. We want to set the ball position just left to centre and also directly underneath your left eye. Grip end of the club is just left of your belt buckle. So grip end of the club, just left and ahead of your belt buckle. Slight forward press, as you can see from there, that's going to allow the left wrist to stay really flat at dress. Slight forward press enables the ball to roll with a little bit more speed and also roll first as opposed to jumping up. Great guide that you can adhere to when you're putting and it's going to give you a little bit more clarity and it's going to future proof your putting stroke when moving forward. Stage one, making sure the grip is in the lifeline. Stage two, making sure that club face is nice and square. Make sure you've got some symmetry and connection. Elbows into the upper part of your rib cage. You're going to tilt forward chest is closer to the ground. A good feeling from here is your hands are going to feel a little bit higher at dress because the grip's a little bit more in the lifeline of your hand. If you grip the club in the fingers, the grip gets quite low. That left wrist sits in a slightly weaker position. Position just underneath left eye. Then the club just left and forward of belt buckle, keeping the putter head lower to the ground through impact to enable you to create that flat left wrist that everyone wants to achieve through impact. If I start to lift the putter head off the ground, that left wrist gets in a cuppy position. We add lots of loft, but the face closes. So keep the putt head lower to the ground on the way through. If we stabilise the left wrist, we can control and square out that club face, no problem. Comment below with what type of instruction you'd like to see on my channel in future weeks. This is a range from short game, full swing, and also course managing. Comment below, like, and subscribe to the channel.